Yesterday, some important information about the Galaxy S25 Ultra was leaked, revealing several new features of this smartphone. Today, we will review these features together, so let's break it down. The first and most significant update is related to AI. We found out that the S25 Ultra's No Brief is an upgraded version of No Bar, introduced in One UI 7. What's its purpose? No Brief can provide you with contextual information based on different times of the day. There are three of its most useful plans. The first is Morning Summary. It provides you with weather information for the day, and if your smartwatch is connected, it can score your energy level and suggest your daily schedule. The next one is Commute Brief. It allows your phone to automatically play music when you get into your car and display nearby cafes or shops on the map. Third is Evening Summary. During the evening, No Brief can show you a summary of the activities you have done throughout the day or interesting and memorable photos you have taken. Another impressive feature is the advanced integration of Gemini. According to leaks, Gemini can summarize a YouTube video and create a note from it. All you need to do is give a comment like, hey Gemini, list all the phones mentioned in this video and save them for me. Additionally, if you pre-order the S25 Ultra, you can access advanced Gemini features for free for a year, which would otherwise cost around $240. The next update that really tempts me to buy the S25 Ultra is its new chipset. The S25 Ultra is equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip, which is faster, more energy efficient, and has better temperature control than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Furthermore, the higher storage versions of the phone come with 16GB of RAM, which improves performance, especially in AI-related tasks. Another exciting update is the camera of the S25 Ultra. The S24 Ultra had a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, which was not great for flagship phone in low light conditions. However, the S25 Ultra is set to feature a 50 megapixel ultra wide lens that will take photos in low light that make the S24 Ultra look mediocre by comparison. Unfortunately, there isn't much noticeable improvement in the main lens, although the new processor will significantly enhance color and lighting in photos. Lastly, there are major changes in the design department. Rounded corners, thinner aids, and a lighter build are some of the most noticeable changes in the S25 Ultra. On the downside, the cameras now resemble the design of the Z Fold 6, with a larger surrounding frame, which I really don't prefer over the previous generation. In general, these things are subjective, but I feel the display shouldn't have lost its curve date because now it resembles the iPhone more. It seems like Samsung is changing its signature design. If you want to find out whether upgrading from the S24 Ultra to the S25 Ultra is truly worth it, make sure to click on this video and I will catch you there.